All right, guys, welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to adjust the inside the waistband clip on a We The People holster inside the waistband holster. Um, so you can see we have two screws here. I'm going to show you um, how to do that. So stay tuned to the intro. <music> Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Doug. Normally I'm in front of the camera. Um, I am the bearded outdoorsman, but today I felt like showing you guys a tutorial. I've got a bunch of questions about this in comments on my, my videos. Um, so I want to show you how to adjust this. Now you can see these, these two extra holes up here. It gives you a lot of flexibility on adjustment. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Today we're going to be using the uh, Swiss Army uh, from Victorinox Tinker. Uh, so we've got a Phillips head screwdriver right here. So that's what we're going to be using to adjust this. And I'm just going to put a little cant on this um, just to show you how to do it. Uh, but also while I'm in here showing you this, I'll show you how to tighten up retention. So this screw right here at the bottom. So this is the bottom of the holster. Um, this screw right here is what tightens up the retention. Now you can see that rubber gasket in there is pretty well snug. But all you have to do is apply some pressure on this side get that screwdriver in there and twist that and as long as this bevel over here this socket over here is not turning as you can see maybe that's not turning even if i'm not holding it that's tightening it down so every bit you tighten this it's going to give you more retention in here so you may receive a holster that needs tightening uh, or you may receive one that needs loosening i've had both so there's that. That's how you do the retention. So now let's get this adjusted. So it's the exact same concept. I don't know if the light's going to show in there. Let me see if I have another light here. And I can show you what it looks like on the inside. So that's what it looks like on the inside. It's the exact same setup as what is on the outside for the retention screw. So we're just going to put our finger in here and hold that. And come here and just loosen that screw up. There's nothing difficult about that. Um, I think I've seen some comments where people say that the screw turns, they should have a different setup. Um, and if I'm missing the screw head right there, that means that there's a camera in between me and my little work area. All right, so I loosened up both screws, but the one that I want to take out is, let me get it over here to me. I want to cant. Which way do I want to cant? All right, so this screw is the one that I want to take all the way out. Wait, is that right? Let me see. Yes, that's the one I want to take all the way out. So now, got it loosened up enough that we can do by hand. I have to. I'm a visual person. I have to see what it's gonna, where it's gonna be. All right, so we got that part out. We have a rubber gasket in here. So let's spin this all the way around. We can take this rubber gasket, pop. This is kind of hard to get to. There we go. Where are you at? All right. So we want to go in the top hole. So we want to go there. And then we want to put our rubber piece back on. And then we want to spin this bad boy back around until that hole lines up. And we just take our screw, find that hole, and get it started. I like how they've added the rubber gaskets. The rubber gaskets are in there, um, so it gives you a little bit of, you know you're not going to tighten it too much. Now, even, even you see this. This did not make a crazy amount of difference in what the cant is. So we can adjust it a little bit more, but it gives you some wiggle room. All right. So the other thing is we can take both of these screws out the bottom, move them to the top, make it sit a little bit higher. I think that's actually what I'm going to do. Instead of can't, I think I'm just going to make this sit a little bit higher uh, when I'm carrying it. Get that screw out all the way. Flip that around washer off see if i can do this with one hand i don't think i can oh 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 maybe yeah look at that got a rubber gasket on 
and now we want to put that back in there and these are at an angle because of the variations of cant that you can do uh, by doing one on the top and one on the bottom it gives you that ability so let's get our screw started and let's, oh, I told you I got I'm looking at the camera screen not my work area so it makes it kind of difficult and that's why we're inside today because doing this outside I would have lost a screw or uh, the glare wouldn't have been right it would have just been bad all the way around so I can feel the back side of that screw um, when I feel it getting tight enough that it's coming through because it's it's the exact same as this right here so you can see let me find what I want here. What do I want to use? This will work. So if you can see, let's get the angle right. So this round part right here, that is the end of that screw on the other side. So when you hold your finger on this, you can feel when that screw is coming through the end. So that is really snug. And I was able to get that just with one uh one phillips head screwdriver on my swiss army tinker that snug so what i just essentially did was i lifted my holster so now when i wear it it's going to be a little bit higher than tucked way down in my waistband so i went to the extreme so I took them out of the bottom hole moved them to the top and I moved them out of the bottom holes and moved them to the top there so we essentially just moved it up in our uh, pants when we're wearing it so that is how you adjust the inside the waistband uh, clip on a we the people holsters inside the waistband holster it's a lot to say it's a mouthful but I hope you found this video helpful and useful uh, go check out we the people holsters this is the one of the real tree uh maybe advantage i can't remember uh one of the one of the camouflage ones they have a couple different camo patterns uh, but this is one of the camouflage ones you can get this in an inside the waistband or an outside the waistband um so yeah there's that so go check them out there'll be a link in the description below for we the people holsters go check them out and uh yeah until next time stay bearded get outdoors and god bless